Shalom, and welcome to another Petach Hamor podcast from Bay Abidan, teaching Noah High Judaism for Messianic Hebrews. Right, um, question, how do I identify a Pharisee? Like finding a needle in the haystack. So um, just because somebody is a Jew doesn't mean that they are a Pharisee. And I'm going to give you very, one very short, quick tip to identify exactly who's a Pharisee and who's a not, who's not a Pharisee, <laughs> and who's a not, who's a non. Okay, so um, very simply, it comes down to this story here. Let's add it to the screen. So this is the, um, it's actually a, an abridged version of the Telia. It's the um, Mase Yeshu. Of course, Yeshu here is Yemach Shmol Vezircho. And this refers to the son of Miriam Magdala. We have this uh, knowledge here. In the footnote, it makes very clear that uh, the, the name, this particular Jesus, this particular day, Jesus, the mother of this particular Jesus is named Miriam Magdala Nishaya. Okay? Mary Magdalene. That's what it says in the footnote. And... Um, <clears throat> Even Rashi makes reference to this as well. Rashi makes reference to this. Um, the Midrash Gadol makes reference to this. And if you didn't know, also Sanhedrin uh, 67a, part 14, makes reference to this. So actually, it's it's actually this part which makes reference to this here. The name is Magdala here. It's given it's part 15, actually. And uh, they don't put that down. So they went, the mother who braided women's hair. Okay, that's part of the name Nish, uh, Magdala Nishaya. Okay, so this is this is a, a part of the name Magdala. Anyway, Miriam Magdala, Mary Magdalene. Again, we have the same here in uh, Shabbat 104b, part five. There it is. Oops, it's just lost that again. There it is, part five. Miriam Magdala. Okay. Here it's got specifically just Miriam Magdala, okay, and with uh, so, uh, and then it says um, Sha'ar Nishaya, okay. So it's actually her name is Miriam Magdala, and she she braids women's hair, okay. So very simply, if you were to ask uh, the Pharisee who this is, this is the Shibboleth, right? This is the Shibboleth. If you ask the if you ask the Jew, who is the Jesus in the Toledoth Yeshua, or who is the Jesus in the Masse Yeshu or the Telia, and if they if they say Jesus the son of Mary Magdalene, then you found a Pharisee, and if they say anything else, then you know that this person is not uh, up to scratch. Fundamentally, you'll come across some people who give the answer like this: that um, uh, the the Jesus mentioned in the stories is is it's uh, uh, for example in the in the or the son of Mary Magdalene and uh, in, mentioned in the in the Talmuds or this Mary Magdalene mentioned in the Talmud, they might say that these are corrupted uh, texts. These are um, texts which we which are not to be trusted in their current form because the 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 rabbis were hiding information or something like that. Any kind of <clears throat> explanation which says that um, the Talmud cannot be trusted in this form, in the simple form here, in the simple text provided, um, or that the sages were being duplicitous, or that the sages were um, untrustworthy, or sly, or sneaky, anything like that, and you instantly identified this person's not a Pharisee, and you shouldn't even consider that person to be a Jew. If the person says, well, no, we can trust this, this is clear, the name is Miriam Magdala, Mary Magdala is the, is the mother, um, that's the name given in the Talmud, that's the name given in the uh, in the Masse Yeshu, that's the name given in the Telia. If you th if they say that, and that's also the name given by Rashi, then you know that these are trustworthy people. We're talking about the son of Mary Magdalene. That's a very simple thing. That's what this story is about. Now, the Toledoth Yeshu, just in case you didn't know, the Toledoth Yeshu is based on this. But the Toledoth Yeshu, this is another thing they would know. The Toledoth Yeshu is only the name given to it by non-Jews. That's another very important thing. In Judaism, by Jews, we do not call these things the Toledoth Yeshu. We call them Masse Yeshu, Masse Telia, or so Masse Talui, or the Telia. Okay, Masse Yeshu, Masse Talui, or Telia. These are the name we give it. The full version is called Telia. The shorter version, the abridged version, is the Masse Talui, or the Masse Yeshu. 
Okay. And the Toledoth Yeshu, this is the name given to it by non-Jews who have translated it in, into their own languages. They call it Toledoth Yeshu. This is because they are confusing it with um, uh, a different text, which is the, uh, the Gospel of Matthew, the Hebrew Gospel of Matthew, which is called the Toledoth Yeshu in, 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 in Judaism. So these are the ways you can identify who is a Pharisee and who's not. Those who are adamant that the teachings of the sages is, are trustworthy. They did not lie. They didn't twist the truth. They actually presented, as is factual, that Mary Magdalene is the mother of this man. Those are Pharisees. Those who say, no, uh, this is just uh, hiding the truth or something, that these ones are not Pharisees. Okay? It's a very simple shibboleth you can use. So memorize this. Learn the passages. Try to learn to read the Hebrew so you understand what's going on. And you can always identify who is really a Pharisee and who is not. Remember, the story is about Magdalena's son and how the New Testament was compiled together in order to fight against the disciples of Magdalena's son and remove them from the house of Israel and to give them a second chance as Noahites. That is what the story is about. That's what every Pharisee knows. And if they don't know that, you know you're talking to a fake. It doesn't matter how authentic they look in every single other way. They're not perushim if they don't know this. This is a very, very small group of people. And it's very, very difficult to find. It's like finding a needle in the haystack. But once you have this shibboleth, you can find them. And then they will be able to tell you more about the details. Of course, if they look like completely secular Jews and they know this, then they're not Pharisees. They've got to be, of course, religiously orthodox perushim who live in Pharisee communities, uh, look like Pharisees, have Pharisee families. And they also know this detail. If they don't know this detail, then whatever else they're doing, it's all fake. All right, then. Thank you so much for watching. Do not trust the fake actors uh, um, who are pretending to be Pharisees when they are not. Trust the true, authentic Pharisees and nobody else. God bless you all. Take care. Shalom. Bye-bye.